Did you know that you can film yourself giving your presentation and then go in and edit that presentation all within Canva? Let me show you how in this video. Hi, I'm Wonderful Lida, a digital course video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach video production to service providers so that they can film once to teach many. If you have a course idea and want to learn how to film yourself, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have new videos out every Wednesday. If you don't have your presentation created and you're starting from scratch, Canva has a bunch of templates that you can go through and select so that you can create a custom good looking presentation regardless of your graphic design ability. So to present it, all you're going to do is click on these three dots on the sides and you're going to see your options. So you can either just present it, download it, present and record or share your link. So let's present and record. The first thing it's going to do is ask me to set up my camera and microphone. So my camera is currently blocked. I can open up my camera. There you go. I'm here. Ah. And then I can also select which microphone I want the input to be. So I currently have my microphone from my computer, but this is great opportunity to plug in an external microphone, either a podcast microphone or a little lab that you can put on your shirt. When you're ready to start recording, just press start recording. It's going to count you down so you feel famous. You can see here I'm on the bottom left corner. You're not able to change where you will be in your presentation, which is a little bit limited, but I'm sure Canva is going to update that in no time. And then if you look at the bottom, you can also preview your next slides so that you know what's coming up in your presentation. So I'm just going to deliver my presentation. I can go through my slides. Once I'm done, all I do is press end recording. So now my recording is uploading. Just got to wait a second. Depending on how long your presentation is, it might take longer to download. So just be patient. And if you're looking for something to do, check out some of my other YouTube videos. There we go. Once it's down downloading, you can either have a link so you can share this presentation with anybody. So that means Canva is going to store it in their system and you can just share the link with people or you can download it. So to edit your video, you're going to want to download it. Depending on the duration of your presentation, it might take longer to download. So I'm still waiting. Do, 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 do. The presentation was short. So if your presentation is long, it's probably going to take a long time. There we go. It's downloaded. So now that we have our presentation filmed, we can also edit our presentation within Canva. So to do that, let's create a design. Let's create a video. Now to upload my video, I'm just going to go to upload, upload media, and then I'm going to find my video in my download folder and then upload it. The awesome thing about this is that I don't have to have the video fill up my entire screen. I can have it on any portion of my screen. So I can still change the background color to whatever I want. And then I can also start adding other elements alongside with it. So if I want to add a nice background, let's add that. So I can have that and then once my video is uploaded, I can transfer it over and then I can fill it as much with as much of the screen as I want. So to trim this, you're basically going to have to trim part by part and you're going to have to duplicate the file for each of the trims. Let me show you how. So I click on the video and then I click on the scissors here and then it's going to allow me to adjust so I can see where I end it and where I begin it. So say for example, I want this to just include that intro bit. So there we go. That's done. Then I can duplicate this and then I can trim the next part. So I click on my video and then I can trim this to have the next section of the video that I want 
added to it. So we will get rid of that middle section in there. And then let's duplicate that. And then select it and then select the scissors. And then say the, I made the mistake right after there so I can trim the next part. Let's say I finished the presentation really well so that's good for the end. Let's say this is my entire presentation and I'm happy with it. I can preview the video by pressing the play sign and it's going to show me what it's going to look like after I render it. And then once I'm ready, I just click download and download mp4 and it's now downloading. Remember, keep in mind that it's going to take longer to download it if it's a longer video, so just be patient with it. And then once it's downloaded, it's going to appear in your downloads folder and you're ready to share it wherever you want to share your presentation. So there you have it. Now you know how to film your presentation and then edit your video all within Canva. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment below. I have new videos to help service providers with Digital Core's video production each and every Wednesday. Until next time, peace!